Hi, I'm Nick. And I'm Mel. I grew up playing outside. And I grew up doing something meaningful, watching movies and TV. I never had cable, and we finally bought a VCR about the same time DVD players hit the market. Throughout our marriage, Mel has sadly missed many of my pop culture references and movie quotes. So it's time to catch up on all the films I missed. Hello, Melissa. Hello, Nick. And how are you on this fine, fair, feathered evening? I'm great. I'm great. I'm ready for a movie. Yeah? Yeah. What about you? I'm feeling spacey. Oh. Just like my head is beyond the clouds. Oh, like Like maybe... Yeah. I'm sorry. What were you going to say? Like I'm going to be sucked into some kind of vortex of something. It's been been a crazy time lately. (sighs) Are we going to watch another Superman movie? (laughs) Because there's like... You know what I mean? Yeah, there's the... Oh, man. The Phantom Zone. Yes. I almost said yeah. the Negative Zone. <laughs> what if there were a Negative Zone? And if you went there, everybody just was like slightly negative. <laughs> you know, like instead of how you're doing today, be like, how are you doing today? Better than yesterday, maybe? <laughs> the slightly negative zone. Anyway. I don't want to go there. Um, yeah, I know. So I don't know. You're referencing a sci-fi movie. Am I? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I love the serious squint you're giving me right now. Um, and then I know that the kids are watching it with us, so it's like uh-huh. kid friendly. Okay. We've already seen Space Camp. Okay. That's all I've got. That's true. From the all 80s right. and 90s. Do you ever feel like you're just going to get sucked into a black hole? Black hole? Yes. I love black holes. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're watching the black hole. Ooh. I don't know what that is, but I'm ready to geek out about it. <laughs> You know nothing about this movie? No, I didn't know there was a movie named that. Wow. Okay. All right. My knowledge about it is a vacuum, a void, a black hole, if you will. Uh, it, and you're about to be, you're sucked into the pole of knowledge right now. You you are only going to enjoy ignorance, the blissful ignorance of this film for oh. a short period of time. Who's in it? What's it about? Those are questions that I usually ask you. <laughs> <laughs> so you've never heard anything about this film? Nope. Like, what do you think it's going to be about? Um, I think it's a, it's going to be about going into a black hole. Okay. What do you think uh, the vibe of the movie is going to be? Um, I'm not thinking campy. I'm thinking like kind of pseudo serious. Okay. All right. Space. All right. Are, uh, is there anything you're excited about in regards to this film or dreading potentially? I love geeking out about the science about black holes. And I like seeing how like different people explain it and how things could happen and what could happen. Okay. So I'm excited about the science. Okay. Um, I'm dreading, uh, you know, it can, things can go lame really fast. <laughs> <laughs> so. So you don't want a lame hole. You want a black hole. Uh, yeah. Right. Got it. Um, but other than that, like, let's we should go watch it. Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> don't think I'm not going to ask you. About what you think the movie poster for this film is okay. and what the tagline would be. Okay, I think there's like a swirly, sort of like swirly black hole and I there's love a spaceship you... going towards it. I'm spinning my yes. finger in the air. It's you swirling. Can't resist the urge to swirl. Like, <laughs> okay, there's a swirl and a spaceship flying in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Anything else going on? Is um, that it? No. Okay. And um, <laughs> maybe if it's campy, maybe the. Uh, Maybe the punchline is something like it's what on the inside. It's what's on the inside that counts or something. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Okay. Well, are you ready to get sucked in? Yeah, let's do this. Let's go check it out. Lift off. There is an inexorable force in the cosmos where time and space converge. A place beyond man's vision, but not his reach. Is the most mysterious and awesome point in the universe. Where the here and now may be forever. On my ship, you ask. It is unavoidable. Moving through space. Swallowing everything in its path, radio waves, light. Are you programmed to speak? Even planets and stars.
man is headed straight for the black hole. What'll we do? We wait. Well, what'd you think? It was pretty good. I liked it. Yeah? Uh, should we explain why... Uh, introduce yourselves. Who are you? Oh, I'm Noelle. Yeah. I'm Autumn. And who... How do I know you again? I don't remember. We're your daughters. You're my daughters! <laughs> yes. Oh, I always get so confused. You know, it's kind of funny that we watched a movie called The Black Hole, and your mom got sucked into a black hole temporarily, and you're pinch hitting for her. So I'm going to be talking to you about this film, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I, I don't even know. What do you think every time your mom and I are like, hey, it's a podcast movie tonight? What goes through your mind? I'm always like, oh, it's either going to be an old timey thing I don't like or oh. something I do like. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I always think uh, it's probably going to be an old timey movie, but I usually always like podcasts. But then always it's like actually en- ends up like being nice. Yeah. It's like not bad. Can you explain what an old timey movie is to me, please? Well, sometimes we watch black and white movies and that's like Uh old timey. And others it's like there's really bad animation and stuff. Really bad. Special effects. Okay. What about you? And like you can see that some stuff is fake. Okay. I mean, old timey usually isn't like all animation. Okay. And it's usually live action. Live action. Okay. Have you, um, what's the worst old timey movie we've watched? Do you remember? I don't remember. They all end up pretty much being good. Oh, they end up being good. Well, that's good. I guess I have good taste then. Cool. I don't remember. You really. don't remember? Yeah, no. I was I was really shocked. Uh, we watched Zorro one time, which yeah, was a was very fun. old movie. And you loved that. Yeah. Okay. Back to the black hole. This is one thing you're going to learn about me, girls, when we're talking about movies is I go off on tangents. And that's <laughs> fine because that's where the adventure happens in space. You're like out there and you're discovering things and you're like, oh, wait, what's that over there? That's kind of what happened in this movie, right? Yeah. You want to give us a quick summary of this film? Tell me what happened. Um, So there were these people and they were like, just like looking for like life in outer space. And then they like found a ship that this girl's dad was on. Okay. And then. Good memory. Autumn, you can chime in with anything you you want. And they went to explore and they noticed that this guy was there and then he He had like really big eyes. was like, whoa. He had big eyes. Okay. Yeah. And then he wanted to go into the black hole and they were like, no way. And then, like, they thought Wait, it was by a black they, hole. This ship yeah. was by a black yeah. hole. They oh, thought something okay. was off this whole time, and there were this. There was this droid. I forgot his name. Though. I don't remember. Oh, the droid. Yeah. Which which one? There were so it many was droids. The old rusty man. The old rusty droid. I think, I think it was that Bob was like or Bob or something. Roscoe or something like the that. The old timer. Bob. Maybe it was I Bob. Think it was Bob, and then the other one. Yeah, I can't it was remember Bob. His name. Uh, Bob and Vincent. Oh yeah, Vincent was also yes. nice. And then they had to escape, uh-huh. and then they couldn't escape in time and they went through the black hole it and then true. like two of them died so wait wait who died wait what are you talking about who died? What, two what? of them died like in the past in wait in the past we're like in the part where they're going to the black hole they go in the black hole yeah okay so this is at the very end they go into the black hole and who and dies it, in, in the black hole oh no no one died in the black hole it's like 
just so people know, like. Yeah, one of them kind of, kind of, kind of like. Two uh, died. Yeah, two of them died because one of them was I trying to escape and then like blew up. Oh yeah, he ship, took. Like, oh, he's Borg Nine. Yeah, he was the, the other older guy, guy got, right? Like, and he wanted yeah. to save himself, and he ended up. Uh oh. And the other he guy got blown up. Went, yeah. In his heart. Oh yeah, and then there was like a salad blender. One of the robots yeah. had like uh-huh. a. A bl- thing, Maximilian yeah. or something. But yeah. yeah, and then they okay. went into the black hole. And they saw this really weird vision of the guy going inside of the robot or whatever like, happened. What? Yeah, what did you think about the end of the movie? Was it was so like confusing. I was like really lost. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was like, what is going on? Yeah, and what did it what did it look like when they were in the black hole? Well, first they just saw the guy and he all of a sudden was like, Whoa. and then he went inside of the Which guy? robot. The crazy eye guy. The the, the doctor. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The yeah. He went okay. inside the red robot. Yeah. For Dr. Some Hans reason, but Reinhardt. They both died. So that was really confusing. The robot died and the doctor died. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, and then they saw the like other robot people, zombies. Oh, working. yeah. The humans that were. Yeah. What, what happened to the humans on the ship again? He like thought they would never make it. And so he started turning them to like. Yeah, machines. That's they were like zombie humanoids. What'd you think about that? Do you think that was a good idea? Was kind of or? Crazy, I thought it was a really it was bad. Kind of not, I feel like this guy's were, crazy. Yeah, it was like if you can survive, mm-hmm. can't everyone else survive? <laughs> That's right? a great question. Autumn. And why not just like turn them into actual robots? Because now you have to go food for them and everything. Because they're still half people. Like, oh, okay. Like, like he that's why his garden was so big. Could have just gone all the way, huh? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, maybe, I mean, this is me nerding out a bit, but maybe he was kind of like, I only have finite resources here. And one of the resources he had was human beings. So he kind of like turned them into robots, maybe? I yeah, don't know. Maybe. Like, Would he you? sure made them look creepy. That's true. He did not need to make them look that creepy. Exactly. That's fair. Um, they could have just looked like happy, smiling human people. You would have had them smiling? Okay. <laughs> well, that'd be creepy. So never mind. That would be creepy. Yeah. What, um, would you have done that if you were in his shoes and you were a doctor stranded on a spaceship right next to a black hole by no, yourself? No, I'd probably go back to Earth with exactly. all the people. Yeah, I'd go back to Earth. <gasps> Why don't you think he went back to Earth? Because he wanted to just sit there and like do his own stuff. Because I'm guessing he was probably like worried that like people would shut him down I for what he was doing. He wanted to just, he was like, and he didn't want approval. Just okay. He no, it. he was just like, I want to explore the black hole. I don't want to go back to Earth. I want to explore this. Okay. Because if you have to go back to Earth, you have to like talk about it about it and plan. You have to plan. So oh. he just wants to do it. Earth is all about plans. That's true. <laughs> um, so he just wants to stay at the black hole and do what he wants to do. Kids in charge. And that's kind of how he wants to roll. Mm-hmm. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, yeah, except for it's an old weird doctor in charge. Okay, that's fair. I would. I think it's safe to say he's a mad scientist at this point. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. he's got the crazy eyes. A weird man, mad, mad scientist. He's a weird mad scientist. Okay. Um, what do you think of his outfits? Well, the that mad scientist. Big red outfit. Mm-hmm. Who would ever wear that and be comfortable? And why would you wear that like in a spaceship? I bet he was like. I haven't seen people in years. You yeah. have to be all fancy. Can you describe what the red outfit looked like? It was like he was wearing like red pants and then he had like a red shirt, like mm-hmm. long sleeve. It had this weird like gold button on it. Is that a something. medallion or I'm was it a sure button? It okay. Okay. It was like just there looking weird on the outfit. Okay. And then he had like I think a tie, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure what it really looked like. It was so weird. That was a summary. I think we've got the summary down. Are you, I'm going to ask Autumn first, are you glad or sad you saw this movie? Mm, I mean, the zombie parts kind of scared me, but oh, yeah. otherwise I liked it. Okay. So I'm going to go with, that's a glad you liked it in general. Okay. Got it. How about you, Noel? Well, it was okay, but. Oh, I sense a little bit of disapproval. But, <laughs> but like there's so many other movies like Sky Fi, Sci Fi. Sci Fi. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know? So, you didn't like... It's okay to not like it. Yeah, it was all right, though. It wasn't, like, the worst. Okay. Yeah, that's what I kind of think. It wouldn't be torture to watch it again. Can you... (laughs) I'd much rather watch Around the World in 80 Days, though. Oh, yeah. yeah, I like that one a lot. That one was great. Can you tell me any uh, backstory about this movie? I know you girls like to watch uh, making of things, like Imagineers on Disney. Yeah, yeah, the attraction. So, Disney, originally, they wanted to... Mm -hmm make a ride of the black hole okay at one of the parks and they were like thinking that this was a great idea but then like the imagineers were looking 
at it and they were just like, this doesn't really have like the potential to be a ride. Right. Yeah, so then they switched over to Star Wars, which well, is much and better. made Star Tours. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't it have the potential to be a ride? Because they just didn't think it had like the right like energy that Disney yeah. had. And also they just didn't really the audience, see much stuff that could be a ride. Yeah, okay. the audience yeah. didn't like it yeah, as much as, as they much liked, liked Star, Wars. Star Wars. Oh, the, so it wasn't as popular? Yeah, it, it wasn't as popular. popular. Besides, pretty, just in general, Star Wars is just better. I was going to yeah. say, it's hard to be more popular than Star Wars. It's yeah. pretty universally loved. Um, wow, okay. That's pretty cool. I remember I was thinking of that because you girls told me about that before we started watching the movie. And I was thinking about that when I was watching the movie. In yeah. my mind, I, I can't was like, believe Mom said she'd never heard of it when she watched the, the movie? Imagineering one with us. Uh, well, you know, uh, spoilers. Your mom doesn't remember everything all the time. I don't know if you've noticed this. It happens sometimes. Um, I also, too, do not remember everything all the time. Uh, I typically tend to remember more about movies than your mom, though. That's yeah. just uh, a habit I've formed. But when I was watching the episode, I remember the episode when I was watching the movie, I remember thinking like I was looking for parts that could look like what a ride would be. Yeah. And there's like the part when they were like strapped in and they were going like mm -hmm. and zipping by and then everyone was shooting at them. They were going what? They were like zipping by. Did you go bew? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But like, I feel like that could have been a ride, but like, I yeah. don't know why they didn't. Well, it made me think about like. When they were making the movie, if they were thinking, oh, man, we have to kind of like think about it being made into a ride. And then so they put scenes like that, because what you're talking about is like a people mover. You like sit in it yeah. and you're like you kind of ride through the ship. Mm -hmm. So it made me wonder, like chicken or the egg? Like, do you think they were during making of the movie? They were thinking, hey, this might be a roller coaster. So we need to make things that are like a roller coaster. Maybe. Or do you think or do you think it was just no, they just wrote the story and that was it? What do you think? I feel like they just wanted to make a movie, so they just made a movie. Yeah, what do you think, Autumn? I think it was either a ride, or maybe they were like, ooh, we want this to be kind of futuristic. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was pretty futuristic. What other things in this were futuristic when you saw it? Well, the droids could, like, hover. Oh, they could. You're right. Vincent and, and Bob, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, like... They have these giant ships that like can get that close to a black hole mm -hmm. and not get sucked in. That's true. That's pretty futuristic. Yeah. I like the scenes. Did you have anything on? No. Okay. I like the scenes where uh, they showed like looking down into the ship when yeah. they were like, there was like a core or something that was harnessing all the energy or something. Yeah. And then they had all the different like robot zombie people. Let's just call them that. Robot, yeah. robot zombies. They had them like layered, look going down. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a really cool. It was shot. also the, yeah when they were like also like they were looking at stuff and pushing buttons and stuff. Mm -hmm. That was a really cool one. Yeah. What else did you like about the movie? I liked how the ship looked that they went to explore. Okay, the one that the doctor was trapped on. Yeah, I thought it like looked like the Eiffel Tower or something, but like yeah, ship. it did look like the Eiffel Tower. And the way it lit up, it was really pretty. It was very pretty. What do you think, Autumn? Anything you liked? I did like the ship, and I also liked the robots. Which robots? There were a lot of robots. The, the good, good ones. ones. Yeah, the good, the good ones. ones. I okay. just like robots that are like cute like that. Cute robots, like yeah. Vincent and Bob? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do you want to hear the names of the actors who voiced those robots? Sure. Okay. So the robot Vincent was voiced by Roddy McDowell, which is kind of a fun name. But Roddy sounds like a rod or something. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Uh, the other one, though, I don't. I really want to hear what your response is going to be to this name. Are you ready? Okay. <laughs> the guy who did the voice for Bob, his name is Slim Pickens. What? What on earth? It's like a slim picker. Yeah. Like a slim pickle. <laughs> a slim pickle. He that kind of fits with Bob. Yeah. He um. He has like an old timey name or something with pickles involved. Slim Pickens. He is. Uh, he's in a movie that I'm going to show you when you're older. He very famously uh, rides a. Um, I don't want to do any spoilers. Never mind. He rides it, something. He rides something, and it's a very famous movie. <laughs> That's no spoilers. It's going to be another ten years till you see that movie, probably. Though. Oh. But you'll remember this, I'm sure. Um. Wow. Okay. So, do you think this movie, like, technology-wise, like, the way it was made, do you think it held up okay, or did it look really old, or what do you think? It was okay. It looked a little bit old. I could tell it wasn't made now. Yeah. How so? It just, like, 
How so? In like live actions now, like it's clearer. Okay. This one, I feel like at some points it was a little like fuzzy or something, you know? Ooh, fuzzy like how? What do you mean? Like this I special don't know, it effects? Just looked, it or? just looked different. Okay. I know. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, and the special effects weren't as good as. Yeah, some of the now. special effects I could notice, and also they they had a green screen, and I could tell that it was like. Yeah, you could you see. Know. Yeah, I, I noticed that like there were a couple scenes where I really liked the fact that they were like in the dining room and you could see the black hole in the but distance. But then you just saw like it was green screen. You like, could oh, see yeah. like a little bit of green fringe around them, right? Yeah, that's true. I thought the same thing. Um, what uh, what questions do you have for me about this movie? Any anything? Why did you pick it? What inspired you to like watch this one? Oh man. Um, well. I had been waiting till you were old enough to see this one, um, and you finally were. Uh, I just, I, I love Disney movies in general. We've watched so many Disney movies, right? Yeah. So this was kind of like a, another echelon. <clears throat> we're like entering through and, and getting up into another level of Disney movies. I hadn't seen this one since I was a kid. And the thing that I remembered most about it was Vincent, that cute robot, you know? Um, and... Movies like that, I'm just like, I really want to share that with you and, you know, get let you see it when you're about the same age as me. But, like, how are you obsessed with Vincent? Um, yeah, I think I had a toy of him, I mm-hmm. think, maybe. Like a little figurine. Sure. I, I think, and uh, he probably played with, like, C-3PO and such because they had a lot of <laughs> Star Wars toys, too. Yeah, obviously. But, I, yeah, yeah. I thought that you would, you kind of showed us that, mm-hmm. uh, the movie because um, in the behind the attraction, it, like, showed a clip of that. I, I was mean, like, what's that movie? You're too smart for your own good, kiddo. <laughs> it actually did punch it to the top of my list because I was like, I kind of want something that's sci-fi. And, and then we like, oh yeah, there's that this. movie, and we saw it. And then I was like, you know what? We're gonna watch it because of that. So I still can't believe thank you forgot about that. Well, it happens. We're all there watching it. We're all she there. Just forgets. <laughs> we'll have to ask her once we get her back from the black hole. Maybe she's in that weird place and she's merged with a robot right now. Oh my. Oh my, indeed. I would not want that. I would not want that either. That's not good. <laughs> this movie had a lot of um, like famous actors for different reasons. Uh, none of the movies you would have seen, though. Um, the guy who played the doctor who got, uh, he was killed by the robot. Mm-hmm. He's in a very famous movie called Psycho, hmm. which is by a man named Alfred Hitchcock. Either of those, any of those names, I'm seeing like glossed over looks on your faces. Yeah, I don't really know. Don't hey, really look at me doing my job. Good. Okay. Um, it's a lot like Alfred Hitchcock, just to give you a taste, okay? He was very famous at doing kind of like um, mysterious? S- mysterious and spooky things. Kind of like, do you remember we went to the Hollywood Studios Twilight Tower of Terror? Yes. Yeah, that was kinda, awesome. That was kinda, amazing. Kind of like that, but a little so less like supernatural. Twilight Zone, kind of. A little bit, yeah. But like not as like... Not as alien-y. Yeah. Yeah. Mm Because some of them have like aliens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that'll be more fun stuff to do when you're a bit older. Um, Wow. Okay. So if you could be any character in this movie, who would you be? I would probably be... I would be one that did not die. (laughs) I made it back to planet Earth. That's a good choice. Be Vincent. Vincent. Vincent is probably the hero of this movie. Like, it's like the only yeah, like good guy, you know? Everyone else is kind of just like, there, there. You think so? You didn't think the captain, the human captain? Eh. He they was... didn't really seem like main characters. They were just kind of like in the background. Wow. So you think the main character was Vincent in the movie? Yeah, they should make another movie just about him. <laughs> I mean, I kind of feel like the girl, she uh, was also like, she were the main she... characters because... Her, like, dad or something were on the ship. Okay. And they, like, kind of focused on her. And there was also that other guy. That other who, guy? Like, they, like, had him there sometimes. Which guy? What are you I talking don't know. about? There, there, guys. Was there was guys. two. There was a, oh, you mean the four. co-pilot. There was, a, there was, like, the captain no, there was, like, and then there was the first mate. One that was mate. older and then there, one that was younger. Oh, yeah, that's Ernest Borgnine. He was the, like, newspaper journalist guy. And he wanted to leave and, and go and he no, ended up getting blown up. There were three guys. The <laughs> old guy, he died, right? Yes, that's and Ernest Borgnine. The yes. There were four guys, actually. Yes. One died. Because uh-huh. of the those old guy. Yeah. And there was the guy that got like 
Big. Yes, the guy. The, the guy. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, and then there was the other guy who was like younger. Uh huh. That's and the then co-pilot. there was the other guy who was a little bit older than the yeah. other guy. Yeah. So the little bit older guy is the guy you're talking about. Yeah. That's he was cap- like there sometimes. He's the captain of the ship. Well, how would I know? Well, they said it in the movie. Well, whatever. <laughs> Fair enough. He was in. Yes, he was the captain of the ship. Um, we won't tell him though. Don't worry that yeah, he wasn't a big part of the movie. Him. That's okay. <laughs> Um, did you know Vincent was originally supposed to have like very different eyes? Oh, oh. like, you know, yeah, the was... eyes, I feel like they could have made them a lot better. Mm-hmm. It looked like just like, yeah, it could be like little circles, like cut up white cardboard or paper yeah. and just like put a little bit of Play-Doh on it or something. Play-Doh? Yeah. Or okay. like, I'm not sure what his eyes were made of. Do you want to hear, um, what the eyes were supposed to look like? What? Yeah. They were supposed to look like, uh, have you ever seen those signs that have the red dots and like you can yeah. see words travel through them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. They were supposed to look like that and they were going to use it to make the dots form different shapes of eyes, but it didn't work properly and the effect was abandoned before they began shooting the movie. Huh. Would have been kind of cool though, huh? They just didn't yeah. have enough advanced stuff. Yeah. That. You see like a lot of stuff like that too. One of the cool thing about watching older movies is you get to see when there was experimental technologies and stuff that's just really normal now. Yeah. Like on social media now, you'll see people mm-hmm. who have like masks and they have little emoji eyes like that using the same kind of technology. Yeah. And they'll use that like all the time right now. Yeah. Like people can just do it from yeah. their home. What did you think um, this movie score was like? The soundtrack, the music. What What did you think about it? Sometimes. It was like kind of just, it was good background music because you didn't mm-hmm. really get distracted by it. But like, there are some movies that like have really good music and you start like jamming out while you're watching the movie. <laughs> jamming out. So, okay. And then there's others that like the music's really bad and like it'll be really epic parts and it'll just be like, duh, 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 and then it'll just be like really boring music for it. Okay. So, like, it was like not distracting. Okay. What did I, you- I didn't really like the music very much. No? Yeah, no. Why not? I wouldn't listen to it. I don't know. Like, she's not really my style. Was it too dark or too scary or anything like that? Or just no, just kind of the song that gets stuck in your head and you're like, oh, just get it out of my head already. <laughs> what song for me? <laughs> okay. I could not memorize any of the songs. As soon as you ask that, I just try to remember. I mean, arguably, it kind of did its job. It's supposed, scores a lot of time are supposed to leave. There's different levels of scores. There's ones that are just iconic and amazing, like Star like really Wars good. and Lord of the Rings. Like you know the music, you yeah. like it. And then there's other ones where it's like, it's just supposed to accentuate the experience when you're watching the movie. Yeah, that's what the right? Black Hole was like. Yeah. It was kind of just like, mm-hmm. it helped not. Like, um, all right. <laughs> do you want to hear how they made the visual effect of the Black Hole? Yeah, yeah, how? You know the shots where they would show it in the distance and it's swirling? Yeah. It was created by forming a whirlpool. In what? a round plexiglass water tank, mm-hmm. and they added different colors to the tank Whoa. while that, it was making the whirlpool. Kind of, that'd be a fun experiment. Wouldn't that be neat? Yeah. yeah, yeah. One time at school, we were it's cool talking about prevailing winds in water, mm-hmm. and we were doing whirlpools. Oh, nice! And I got really wet. I love whirlpools. I, that was one of my favorite things to do as a kid in a pool: was make a whirlpool. Everybody runs in the same direction, then you stop, and all get sucked in. It was always fun. <laughs> it was good stuff. Uh, Do you have any other questions for me about the movie? Yeah. What were Vincent's eyes made of? Oh, my goodness. Um, I don't know. I would just be guessing. Okay. I'll have to look. We could potentially look that up. I would guess it's probably just like a plastic. That would be my guess. Like plastic? Yeah. It kind of looks like chocolate. Like it's edible. You could just take out his pupil and just eat it. (laughs) You want his eyes to be edible? They look like chocolate. (laughs) Okay. You want to know what's kind of crazy? When I was watching this movie, do you remember me saying, like, this is a Disney movie? Yeah. This was Disney's first PG-rated movie. Every other movie they'd made was rated G. And PG is the next level up. PG is, like, wow. parental guidance. Parental guidance suggested, yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. So that, that was, like, whoa. Game changer. That's why I wait. I mean, I, that's why I waited a little bit for you to watch it, I think. I yeah. probably would have been able to watch that. When yeah, I when I watched it, I was, like... I'm not used to Disney being like this. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I kind of guessed it was a Disney movie since we had seen the Imagineering thing. And also, it just kind of seemed a little bit like a Disney movie. Nice. Um, this movie was made before Tron. You remember Tron, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. And I like Tron more. You like Tron more? Yes. Tron was like, they were really experimenting with like uh-huh. technology and yeah. stuff. 
They some of the leftover Century robot costumes, you know, all those red ones that were running around. Yeah. They were later used to test footage for Tron, like when they were testing out different things. That's cool. Isn't that neat? Oh, that's cool. I love it when they do stuff like that. What'd you think about all the lasers and the in the laser battles? Yeah, the lasers were good. Yeah. That was good as Star Wars. What'd you think about <laughs> Of course. Why isn't it as good as Star Wars, Noel? Star Wars is just better. Star Wars is better? Yeah. Yeah. Care to quantify that any with any more details? Star Wars is just amazing. It's yeah. It's just amazing. Okay. You give me like that, yeah, dad, look <laughs> like. <laughs> okay. Star Wars is better. I agree. Uh, Star Wars is better. But if I'm being honest, this crazy mad scientist is better than any crazy mad scientist I've seen in a Star Wars movie. There's not any, though. There's a couple. There's a couple. Name one. In Star Wars? Calling me out. Yeah. Um, There was the one in The Mandalorian. He was the... Um, the there old was, dude? Uh, there they was the like, old guy who was like, bounty on Dinus, blah, 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 blah. He wasn't a scientist. He was born. That's an okie doke, right? He's not a scientist. Okay, but he had the guy who um was conflicted. Oh, that guy. He's a scientist. But he wasn't a mad scientist. Uh, he was just like... I mean... He kind of was. He seemed kind of weird. He was like becoming a main character a little bit. He was conflicted, and you saw him later in other episodes and stuff. Yeah, but he was like, point doing is, his own thing. You wanted a scientist who did crazy things, i.e., a mad scientist in Skadoosh. There you go. There's Fine. one. <laughs> um, if you uh, if you could be any kind of spaceship, if like if you could own any kind of spaceship, what would you want? In, in, the black in, hole? In, in, in no, in any sci-fi movie. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, this is a deep question. You're both like These deep in this thought. This is really deep, guys. Okay. Yeah. You want me to go first? Yeah. Flight of the Navigator spaceship. I want that one. What do you mean, what? What's what? that from? Flight of the Navigator. It's the movie. Have I seen it? Yeah. It's the one where he, there's the little kid and he gets, he it has the Beach Boys song and he has the little things and it's a spaceship. You've seen this. You're looking at me like blank faced. This description is really bad. Must have been a while like, ago. Anyway, what is yours? What is yours? What is yours? I actually don't know. Okay. I well, it would be a Star Wars spaceship. Okay. Yeah. What about you, Autumn? I want a safe Star Wars spaceship. A safe one? Yeah. It'd be kind safe of nice one. to have one of those okay. giant cruisers and just like own it all yourself. It would be fun to have okay. the Millennium and have Falcon. The water Millennium Falcon? That would be fun. Yeah. Okay. Millennium Falcon. I don't know how safe it is. It breaks down a lot. Or the Mandalorians, like Naboo Speeder. His first one or second one? Second. The second one? The okay. Speeder. Second. Okay, got it. Sorry, sorry. That goes so fast, that'd be fun. That one's really good. Yeah, that's true. Okay, okay. Um, actually, you know what? I'm taking it back. I want the Starship Enterprise. That's probably what I would. Have I seen that one? You've not seen that. That's from a TV show called Star Trek. Mm -hmm. And we will oh. watch it at some point. Soon. After um, Clone Wars. Yeah. So, what do you think... If there were any messages in this movie, like what was this movie trying to tell you at a higher level? What if any messages do you think were in this film? Probably like the future is going to be big, and this is just like what we think it could be like. Okay. So maybe yeah. And okay. then in the end, it was like, like you said, or after the movie, you're like mm -hmm. maybe it was like hell and heaven. Okay. Because it was like the silver door and everything. Yeah. That was so confusing. Maybe it's like it was. Yeah. Don't go near black holes. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> it's a very dumb idea. <laughs> like, this is a really bad... <laughs> that's a good... That's, that's, yes, that's a great message, Autumn. Don't go near black holes. I agree. I think most scientists who study black holes would agree with you, too. Whew. Sorry, okay, do you want to... <laughs> Mine is really obsessed with black holes. Yeah, well, they're they're amazing things. Do you really? want to... That suck people into complete blackness? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's no or people like... near them because they're really far away, but they're yeah. they're they're crazy amazing. Yeah. I still can't believe no one <sighs> sent like a little camera out wow. to a black it, hole. They're so far away, Noel. Any of the closest ones. It would ones take are a so... while. It, like, it would so take what? a really long time. Maybe you can work with NASA and do that one. That could be your project. Autumn, do you want to expound on that at all or just don't black go near black are holes? Dangerous. Don't go near don't black go... holes and don't trust guys who have red evil robots. Red evil robots. And red okay. outfits. Red outfits. That would okay. Look interesting. Okay. Also, Spider Man has red outfit, and he's I mean, interesting. Red Trust and Spider -Man. blue. Trust Spider Man. It's red and blue. It's red and okay. Okay. And also. Uh huh. Also. You, you're. 
What? <laughs> what? Oh, I'm sorry. You, you, it's okay. I was about to say something and then I just forgot. That happens to me all the time. Don't worry about it. I think um, the message in this film is you need to... Not go near black holes. I don't remember what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, what were you going to say? say? Everyone should have a little warning sign next to the black holes that say, don't go in the black hole. Oh. Just so like spaceships in the future can be like, yeah. oh, guess I shouldn't do that. You know the funny thing? And not make the mistake. As if a giant black hole, like you could see it so far away, isn't enough. And then you there see needs the to little sign. yellow sign yeah. that yeah. says, don't Do not enter, there. right. Okay. You've been quiet, Maze, this whole time. Do you have anything you'd like to tell us about the movie? So I think that what it was trying to tell us is that, well, it didn't really have a really clear message, but okay. I thought that, I don't know. You don't know? No, not really. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Um, I think the message of this film is you need to be careful about how much you focus on things and how driven you get. Oh, he was very driven. Yeah, he got some, like obsessed with he his like, passion I need to go at the cost this. of everything else. Yeah, I know so, my entire crew is... Don't uh, trust strangers. Don't trust too. strangers? Okay. Yeah, yeah they yeah. were kind of like... I would say don't trust strangers near black holes. And the girl, yeah. as soon yeah. as he was like, yeah, your, your dad died, mm -hmm. uh, I'd be like, all right, we're leaving. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I don't want to stick around in this place where my dad died. Yeah. Yeah. What did you think about her ESP? Do you did you remember that? She could like talk yeah. telepathically. Oh, that was cool. I was like feel like they did that because they didn't want to have walkie talkies or something. And like <laughs> Okay. They wanted to be able to have her communicate. With have him. you ever communicated with each other through your minds before? No. No? No. No? Maybe. Well, maybe. maybe. Right, what am I thinking right now? Um Nothing. I'm lost. I'm thinking I love you, and I'm glad you are here. Oh, oh. <laughs> I knew that. I was about to say that. All right. Well, ladies, thank you so much for taking this journey into space with me, and hopefully we'll be able to rescue Mom from the black hole. Yeah. Yes. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Tell us what you think of this film in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more.